As a matter of fact, Groundbuster, I do. <laughs> but not because I don't like it. But because those gosh darn things that fall down from the sky are so freaking big that they take up a major area and they kind of... Uh, yesterday I had like 10 of them around me all over the place where I was building and they're kind of distracting when you're trying to build something. So I'm going to turn it off uh, on when when I actually intend to do something with the event because currently they're just a massive pain in the Grinch behind. Also, good evening everyone and uh, welcome to the stream. We have a mystery at our hands tonight. And I have no idea what's going on here. I have 32 constructors. Which is getting all the steel ingots they need. All of these constructors... As a rule, I don't sprout tentacles. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Grand Buster is now a Grand Knight Templar for 9 months. Cinq chiens chassent six chats. Don't forget to tentacle your gay. I, I, I shall not forget to do that, Grand Buster. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I, I, I would have too, you know? I, I definitely would have too. Also, Peps, uh, I can't help that you need to go to sleep. My sleep schedule is a bit borked. It's just the way it is. So the mystery that I'm dealing with here is that all of these constructors are producing a total of... Notice how some of the lifts are standing still. <laughs> well, it will only be for five minutes. The belt that is running there is Mark V all the way down just through the mergers just showing you all that this is a mark 5 belt goes through all the mergers onto a mark 5 lift into an industrial storage container which is full most of the time onto this belt which is going into a sink this means that i have 780 throughput All of the constructors are connected up with Mark 1 lifts to that belt. And 32 of these produce 640. Mark 5 belts are glitched. How badly glitched are they? I was half listening to the, uh, to the stream today. Why haven't they reported that in the uh, patch note? Known bug. Yes, uh, the belt does stop at the merger when new uh, items comes on the belt because each merger has an internal buffer of nine but my question is and the patch the fixmas patch today ruined the um mod compatibility with um with uh efficiency checker so i can't really check the efficiency but apparent according to what we're looking at here that is definitely running at 780 There's no doubt about that. 
because there's no spaces between the uh, the pipes. But I'm not even producing 780. That being said, some of these are empty, so that's that's okay. It looks like it's now all of them are green, so it looks like it is gradually uh, managing to do things. They are not achieving max throughput, but they did not say how much. Okay, it's a good thing that I'm working with 600. This doesn't make sense. That this thing... Like, this thing should also... Well, no, because of the internal buffers. The belts are actually running at 780. But it... Well, okay, no, that's that's the reason, of course. Because of the internal buffers, the game is managing to buffer up, thanks to all of the mergers, it's managing to buffer up so that it is able to to convey 780, or whatever the current Mark V speed is at currently, uh, at the end of the line, since I have 16 mergers there. So there is a buffer of... Uh, of uh, 144 pipes in those mergers, up to 144 pipes. Well, that kind of explains that. See what Rune Sun has to uh, offer on the topic. It isn't a critical uh, thing right now, but. Um If we go away, then maybe when I come back, this will be starting to uh, to lessen down. Eventually, all the machines will fill up again, though. I'm also experimenting with how I want to do that um, in-building railroad thing here. Which, uh, I'm not going to use these walls. They are ugly. But having these doors here, pretty neat, because they do open for the trains. I'll close after the train leaves again, as shown. Still typing. You do have an important question. Well, nobody has said that it is coffee. It's a coffee mug, but... You have no idea what I have in the mug. In fact, it might be oil, for all you know. But I'm amused. It's... Viscosity. Son says that he's never tested this theory, uh, but he has a feeling that if the first machine constructs faster than the last machine travels down the belt, the issue might occur because the first machine will output two in the line ahead of the last one reaching. Could be avoided by splitting the manifolds to half size and merging the two lines into one, but it's just a hunch. 
nhau Whipped cream and glitter Okay, the train apparently decided to carry me all the way down here, did you? Whipped cream is nice, but I'm, I don't think I would particularly like to uh, drink something with glitter in it. I mean, that's just me, but... Yes, but... Still. Hold on, just a Anti-gravity oil. I like that. I haven't really done a lot of things off camera today. Uh, just experimenting that tunnel and polishing some of the rail stuff here. Uh, and I also finished the... Um, the second uh, spiral uh, concrete tower. Heat glitter. All the gays are doing it. No, I I'm not doing it. <laughs> uh, and I see some throughput issues with this uh, this intersection there um, because they're going, there's going to be a lot of trains going through that. So that might add to some of the time that the trains are using from the uh, smelting array. I don't think he does either. At least he hasn't for the 19 years we have been together. And I think I would have noticed if he ate glitter. And perhaps I am more Grinch than you, Peps. Who knows? This is true, and I will happily be the exception to the rule. That's not up to you to decide, that's my job. That is a strange route to choose. Well, I am above you in the order of ranks. So, when I'm not present, you can try to define heresy, but when I'm present... I think they fixed the incessant honking too, but it might... No, it, it's just because that is a single year train. Well, you're, you, in here you're still my mod, so... Shush. Um, you know, I, I agree with you. Where did that tree come from? I wasn't there yesterday. Uh, I agree with you, Grumbus, but actually I think that the, uh, the vents are for, uh, cooling down the, uh, the actual brakes. So I don't think that there's, that they are actually using air brakes. Ah, oh, perfect. This is actually working as intended. So I did manage to fix it yesterday. Yes, I suppose that is kind of weird. So by having this loop here, all is good. All the sulfuric acid is going out. Batteries are being produced. They are emptying of both water and battery all the way back to the last one, I think. Yes. And they're all full on the sulfuric acid and the alumina solution. Yes. So my battery factory is working. Excellent. Uh, the next thing we need to do then is to go back to 
in regards to the fixedness thing, when I had the fixedness thing enabled yesterday, one of those packages took up the entire roof of one of these um, stations. And I had like 10 of them around in the landscape here. So that's why I disabled it, because they are, they are rather annoying. Thank you for popping in, and thank you for the lurk as well, Grandbuster. And uh, I hope to see you soon. Let's go... Oh, I'm starting to have a lot of trains here now. Let's go to... Uh, I still have no idea what I meant with PT. Go to the... Uh, one. My nondescript facial appendages quiver with anticipation every time I see you. Welcome in, raiders, and thank you so much for the raid. Don't poke Josh. Let's see here. I'm not sure. Oops. You might get a, a double shout out here. No, here you go. Double shout out. Oh my god, this is beautiful. You can't even see that there's a window. What is that? <laughs> the sound! <laughs> I see you discovered the uh, update five windows. Is get over with one person. Uh, wait. Andrew, did you see? Yes. Oh. Oh, uh, yeah, I was talking to Jen. <laughs> this is a game I haven't seen either. It's nice to have two shout out videos. <laughs> Welcome in! Oh Welcome in to the Raiders as well. <laughs> Very amusing. <laughs> human tentacle flat. Or human ball flat. My evening is going well, thank you. Um, I'm uh, trying to figure out things for science in regards to um, or I think I have figured it out uh, manifolds not working as they should or working unexpectedly is probably more uh, more accurate to say how was your stream? what have you been working on? unless that clip was from tonight's stream and you're working on a maze I am the law. Throw down your weapons. Uh, is that some kind of Robocop uh, quote addicted? Ah, okay, now it's working as it should because it's emptied out the machines because, yep, good. Judge Dredd, yeah, of course. Okay, so it does work. Keeping everything pretty yeah I'm, I'm kind of working on that myself on this save it's the first time that I've actually bothered making buildings and stuff instead of just having large flat spaces of concrete foundations and uh, factories running on them I do have a, a rather extensive train network um, but I'm rebuilding. I've all got the regular things behind there, the basic materials, and I'm moving them here. But that's the uh, that's the uh, the thing that I'm working on now is this facility. I didn't bother to start a new save for update five. I had not gotten that far on this save, so. But I did start a new save while we had update four because my previous factory was out in the dune desert and uh, it was not pretty. <laughs> so I know the feeling of uh, wanting to start a new save. But it's always fun to start a new save, except for the fact that at this point I've just gotten to the point where I um, use the uh, satisfactory calculator to edit in the hard drives so that I don't have to do the manual exploring to find them. Been there, done that many times by now, so tired of that. A giant dome. Wait. That giant dome? See that?
We should have a... We should really have a channel dedicated for... Uh... The Dodecadrome made of yes, then I have seen it indeed. I might run into the same problem that you had there in, in regards to the production plan because um, I just plopped this stuff down and I'm just going to continue plopping stuff down here uh, without consideration for the actual floor plan. But um, this is not supposed to be a main production facility uh, except for temporary reasons for now uh, so I can get rid of the stuff that I have over there uh, so I think that I will be good but uh, I definitely need to plan things out better in regards to uh, this in the future this is kind of a test facility where I'm I'm using um, train stations one thing that I notice is that I should have put the um, the floor like too higher up to have more room for stuff going above the train stations but um, yeah I'm not about to move all of this now even though smart started functioning again yesterday so this was a little bit easier to build than I mean souping is nice but when you have to build that many foundations souping is it's better than the old way 10 at a time is at least better than one at a time don't remember how many foundations this was, but it is many. People are talking about Judge Dredd, and I have no clue. <laughs> I rarely watch movies, guys. Yeah, this seems to be filling up again. I was confused earlier by these... Uh, this belt having issues uh, pushing things out and some of the machines in the line were yellow while other machines were able to empty out and I'm producing 640 of them but I suspect that the reason for the issue is that the mergers have their internal buffer of 9 and since I have 16 mergers that means that even though I'm producing 640 640 plus 144 is 100, uh, 784 or more than a Mark V belt is capable of running down the line. So I think I'm getting the max throughput. Keyword there being think. And tackle ledge to her tentacle. Well, it's good that I am the head of the, uh, the cult of tentacles, so I cannot be fined. The same thing happens here. Only these two machines seem to be able to push things out, probably because of the internal buffers here. Four tentacles indeed. Eat. Well, I'm not sure if you guys are part of the cult, but uh, I mean, it's 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 optional. You don't have to be part of the cult. But I think that we would be considered a cult by standards. No, that was uh, God Godhood, which was fairly amusing to play. Uh, sadly, they removed that statue, which made it a little bit less amusing, but uh, that was a good game in terms of amusement. Right, uh, what do I have to do? I have to make wire. That's always fun.
It would be more fun if I were... 80 constructors? I don't know if I need that much wire, to be honest, currently. I think I'm gonna go with half of this, because... How much wire do I actually need here? 106. I don't think there's any particular reason why I should be producing 2,400 wire. I also should be using iron wire, but uh, for the time being, uh, I'm just going to go with... Uh, with the regular copper version of it, and then we can move to iron wire later. Yes, that is uh, understandable. Some of us have more um, eccentric sleep patterns than others. Thank you so much again for the raid, and uh, you have a great night's sleep, I hope, and uh, sweet dreams. Yes. Yes, indeed, Peps. Uh, how far did I go away from the edge over there? I went two in. Rather, three in. Well, Wally might be a heretic, but he's a good content creator, so uh, I also watch Wally's content, even though he is a heretic. Oh, I don't have smart now, so I have to place all of these manually. Yay. Well, I'm going to go with uh, half of what I've put here, so that should be 1,050 then. No, it's not 1,050. Uh, it is... Mm, 950? No. 150? No. So then it's 900 then. Yes. Right, that means that I need 40 constructors. That's a lot of constructors. And that will produce 1,200 wire. It depends on whether you want to be a heretic. Twelve hundred time divided by two is of course six hundred. So if I have two belts of six hundred, that means that if I have forty of these, I need I need to veer off. Three hundred to the um, cable makers. Each of these produce th thirty per minute, so ten of them are going to be for wire, and thirty of them are going to be for No, 10 of them are going to be for wire for cable, and then 30 of them are going to be for wire going into uh, other production stuff. Um, let me just check something, because this is going to be a massive annoyance. That is also something I noticed yesterday. Uh, if you play with uh, mods, uh, the autosave takes more time. I'm not sure why.
So does this crush the game? Apparently not. If that actually works, I will be very happy. Because that would uh, save me quite some time in building what I need to build now. Which would be nice. Very nice, actually. Yeah, loading the game takes longer too. And the only two mods that I have enabled is no fog, so that I don't have to do the uh, switching to uh, United Kingdom keyboard to be able to disable the fog, and smart. So I'm not sure about why that happens. Uh, I need nine of them. This is just so much e so much easier. And. Since I'm having the problems I'm having with those steel pipes, I don't know if I should gamble on having one. Uh, what I can do here, though, is just go directly into that one. Let me just see if that is possible. to do some interesting things though I don't think I will do that but that is definitely too close if I have that there and I have the manifold here and then I have another manifold here that should work shouldn't it this one might be too close besides it is trying to uh, connect to that instead of the actual machine Okay, I, I like that they have added the uh, auto-snap thing, and that it's got a, a larger hitbox, but it's a little bit aggressive. Yeah, no, that is too close. So, it would have to be here. That should be the correct distance. Yeah, that is the correct distance. How about this one? This is also the correct distance. Oh, uh, this is going to be interesting. 20 and 20. So I need to split one belt of copper into two. Hello, Glass Deviant. Fancy seeing you here. Doesn't seem to be working as it should. It's not doing anything, interestingly enough. Oh, there we go. Nine, ten. Facing a four. Uh, but I. This shouldn't be splitters, Paladorn. This shouldn't be splitters. This should be murderers. 
Welcome, Cracker Jack Dogs. Cracker Jack Dogs. Yek. Uh, this is very inspired by Factorio. Um, and I've played enough of Factorio. My what is going on with these? Okay, let me just... Does it... Is it because I'm... What the heck? Uh, okay, so what I, as I was saying, I've been playing quite a bit of Factorio myself. Uh, but I'd like the, uh, the verticality that's... Oh, okay. Apparently... Uh, the verticality adds an additional layer to the game, uh, which I really, really like. Although the world isn't procedurally generated, uh, which many people have uh, wished for, it's still... There is something really weird going on with this. I have to hold down control to see them. I have no idea. This is probably a bug in Smart. As a rule, I don't sprout tentacles. But in your case, I'll make an exception. Oribia is now a Knight Templar for Simons. Good tentacle knight. Thank you so much, Oribia. Six months. Wow. And in a row as well. Very, very, very much appreciated. Currently, it is an early access, and I have like three or four thoughts in my head all at once, so I apologize for being, uh, what do they call it? Skipping from topic to topic or something like that? Uh, yeah, I'm putting out the this series as VODs on YouTube answer that so thank you for the lurk uh aviators uh there is a story in the game as peps says it will be implemented fully when the game is out of early access but they have put some hints into the game here and there about what the story might be uh, there are some alien artifacts that we can find in the landscape that makes the ai go crazy um in the last update, that is this update, update 5, in some of the, um, yeah, like, like those up there, these rock formations like that, in some of them you can see that some of the stone is gone and there is some kind of um, metal lattice uh, in a hex hexagonal shape going on inside of the rock kind of hints to the fact that the world might be artificial um, but for now there's a lot of theorizing about it um, I'm just enjoying the game for all of the options you get in terms of building the current ultimate goal in quotation mark would be to uh, finish all of the um, tiers that you can do in the space elevator um, and the space elevator requires you to produce some rather insane amounts of resources for the uh, specific uh, project parts, as it says. It requires deliveries of special project parts to complete phases of project assembly. Completing phases in the space elevator will unlock new tiers in the hub terminal. Now, the each of the tier will give you new items uh, and new facilities to construct, where the highest tier currently allows you to build particle accelerators uh, so that you can um, refine uranium waste into plutonium, which you can then make fuel rods from. So plutonium is kind of the current ultimate goal. 
I don't recommend using plutonium in nuclear power plants because the plutonium fuel cells uh, or the plutonium will create plutonium uh, nuclear waste which you can't get rid of except by storing it and then you'd have to use the satisfactory calculator to delete the uh, containers where you store it if you don't want to have a limitation to how long you can play on your map. Um, but they, they have not added the... Uh, yes. It's like you are... The, the space elevator kind of works like the uh, the satellite launching in Factorio. Um, but there is no... There is no equivalent science as the ones in Factorio. You don't have red, green, blue, grey, so forth science here. Uh, all of the science is... I guess you could say that the project parts it's could not be... easy being green. Hello, Wooly. Uh... uh. Machine, is that one is the milkshake. My one nondescript where you facial appendages quiver with anticipation you know, every at, time uh, I see. Protein shake. What? That sounds awesome. <laughs> is it as awesome as it sounds? It is more awesome than it no. sounds. No. Your clips are the best, Wooly. Uh, and then raid coming in from Vikings. Uh, everyone As a rule, I don't <laughs> sprout tentacles. There, but in your case, I'll make an exception. <laughs> Bold Viking is now an aspirant Knight Templar for three months. He missed my boutique's day. Welcome in, raiders. Thank you so much for the raid, Bold. Uh, I hope that your um, worm network is uh, proceeding. Uh, to taste so that you can get your UPS back in your insane Factorio save. Uh, for those of you who has not have not checked out Bold Viking, not all who wander is are lost. currently playing on the absolutely most insane map that I've ever seen in Pyanodons, of course. Uh, you have like 55, 56 days on that save now, going on for two years or something. Um, and the UPS was down to Not like 15, all wonder are lost. which probably speaks for itself. March 2020, okay, so, right. You played a lot of that map then. It also looks like a space cow. Thank you so much for the follow, As Google a Anto. rule, I don't sprout tentacles, but in your case, I'll make an exception. Fallen Angel 08, 19, 79 HAS been knighted. We oui, this enough. Thank you so much, Fallen Angel, for the subscription. For six months in advance. Well then, thank you very, very much. Okay, that, that, that left Caledon kind of slightly speechless. The French text-to-speech announcer is indeed awesome, and it keeps completely breaking me when uh, when people put in the correct. <laughs> now stop streaming for six months! <laughs> oh, dear. You've been torturing Bold for the better part of two years. Yes, that is a good that is a good idea. Uh, I also like to torture him. Um, I, I, you need to send me that sound effect, Bold. The one, the one with the... Uh, with the... Ah, uh, oh, what is it? I can actually show it. I can find it. Satisfactory is doing well. I'm having some... No, I have got another one. I, I'm thinking about another one. It, it, I actually, I'm going to play two of them. Uh, so don't leave just yet. Don't wait and run. Um, let me see here. Um, so much thing happened at once here. Overwhelmed Caledon. Poor Caledon. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, so to finish my thought earlier, I think you could say that the space elevator parts are kind of the equivalent of the Factorio uh, science packs. Okay, moving on to the next topic here. Um, thank you so much for the sub 2 bold. Uh, getting that one. You've gained 20% UPS over the last couple of days. Yes, good. I've seen that actually. I saw you were up to like 25 or something today. By COVID. <laughs> By COVID. Hmm. Yes. Uh, so it is after two years. Almost. 
Yek one. Caledon.exe not responding. Yes, correct. Okay, let me find the clips in question because these clips are very amusing. <laughs> okay. Wally has apparently done Not a, a, all good, a good who thing there. Are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, uh, Cracker Jack Dogs. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Peps. Uh, where do I have the clips? is not the one. It is a good number. Is it this one? Well, this one is good. might be a good idea for me to do that and I do need to reduce the volume of that one and don't worry there's already ample mind control tentacles in your brain it's important to not overload the brains I can do things to people's personalities Calador stop that don't worry there's already ample mind <laughs> so yes bold and I might have a... you can also see this um this is just a little part of his uh, of his base, like one fifth or something, maybe. Yeah, about that, one fifth or one sixth of the base. The other one, which is also quite amusing, but I don't have that. It's the uh, the tentacle daddy, uh, which um, Sparkle put into her uh, stream as a sound effect uh, bolt. I don't like that. I should have that as a introduction sound when you come into the stream. I don't know where that is. Probably posted in uh, in the RC Discord. Maybe I can find it. Petition for that as a sound command? Yes. Yes, it, it would be a good one. A very good one. Is the channel? There it is. There are so many clips that has been posted since. Hmm. Yeah, way too many. There's a few. There's a two guys. Oh, you bounce! <laughs> Thank you for the doing this out out there, uh, Peps. Of course you get random clips of yourself when you pop into uh, streams. Like this one, for instance, or Nirenwolfsen. Nirenwolfsen? That is a good Norwegianism, isn't it, Nizena? I like that. Only Norwegians would get that. Yes! I have no idea how my brain Not managed to do that. All who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Jack782 as well. Yes, I, I actually did say Nine I, or I said I said Nine Wolf, since that's his nick on, on Twitch. Nine Wolf Sin. Like his stream. Sin being uh someone's in Norwegian. I was meant to say like in Nine Wolf's stream. Uh, sometimes I am perplexed by that myself. Exactly, Glass Deviant. Or not necessarily just to a person. It could also be something that is... Uh, just needs to belong to something. It can also be belonging to an item. Uh, depending on how the word is being used in the sentence. The sins of the Iron Wolf, indeed. 
Um, now my brain has slightly mildly shut down, but I think I was working on uh, on this, and I will not object to that. Possessive article, or some shit. Yeah, that that sounds very uh, very likely indeed, uh, Izena. Hold and spacing four. You've suppressed the Norwegian classes. Yes. Uh, satisfactory. You can actually buy Satisfactory on um, both Steam and Epic. Uh, it might even be on sale still. Even if it's not on sale, I think it's just 30... 30 euros or dollars, which... Considering I've got three and a half thousand hours in the game, I would say that I I got it for free because I got the press key. But still, if I had paid for it, I would have definitely gotten my uh, money's worth out of paying for it, considering uh, three and a half thousand hours. As a matter of fact, since I was young, I have not played a game this much uh Unless it has been an MMO. Also, uh, since I am legally obliged to say this as an Epic partner, if you buy the game at Epic Store uh, and you enter Caledon NO as the creator code, uh, you will be giving me 5%, five, five percent, uh, and it won't, won't cost you anything, but I will receive 5% blah blah legal since I'm part of that. And I don't I'm considering actually uh, leaving that program because I keep forgetting to say that and I'm really not comfortable with saying it either, to be honest, so... But yeah. I know many people prefer Steam, so please buy it wherever you want to buy it and do not consider uh, that specific thing, but I am legally obliged to say it which I find very annoying that I am actually legally obliged to say it as part of the program. And if Epic heard what I just said, they would probably kick me out of the program anyways. Okay, there is a bug in... Uh, here we go. 200... <laughs> there is definitely a bug in Smart. <laughs> this is just amazing. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> yes, of course, Peps. Of course, Peps. It has nothing to do with the country I'm from at all, and that someone else had taken the Nick Caledorn. Uh, it is definitely because I will reject any friend requests. Spot on. No. <laughs> um, I'm not sure if it is coffee. If it is, there is something seriously wrong with this cup. The reason why I'm using the cup, you can buy it for a coupon in the awesome shop. Um, it is just a cosmetic item, doesn't do anything. Although, apparently I'm able to drink from it, even though I have a visor on, because the atmosphere on this planet, massage to ABB, by the way, uh, is not breathable. So... But many people suspect that it is oil. But the viscosity of the li liquid, there is something very wrong with it. Very wrong. See, um, I missed one thing that someone says. Artificial gravity mug, indeed. Almost at oil? Oh! Wizaranto, if you're almost at oil. Well, you have a little bit of, uh, of uh, experience with the pipes if you are almost at oil, because you have to 
uh, do water into the coal uh, extractors, but um, pipes in this game, oil isn't so bad. Aluminium, on the other hand. Uh, no, uh, there is only this one planet, uh, but since they are using... Okay, uh, can I get this to work? Since they are using... Um, old, the uh, Unreal 4 engine, which is the same engine... Wait, this is the wrong thing. No, it isn't. Absolutely correct thing, so now I have to go through that measure again. Uh, since they're using the Unreal 4 engine, which is the same engine that was used for uh, Ark Survival Evolved, uh, I feel fairly confident that we are going to have um, uh, player-made maps at some point. But there's no point in making player-made maps currently, since the game is uh, still heavily in development. Uh, and they have upgraded the engine, too, a couple of times now. Uh, so it started out on Unreal Engine 4.0 something zero something or now they are at 4.26 which did massively improve the performance of the game uh, and it also gave us uh, a lot more of eye candy in the game which I uh, definitely approve of mm, I just need to eat my lip for a little bit here sorry about that eight work days ahead of you Ugh. Ugh. Well, I'll talk to you tomorrow then, Bold, and thank you again for the raid, uh, and uh, just message me when you are uh, around, and uh, we'll sort out the, uh, the little secret. And uh, have a great night. Sleep well. I will be at my computer anyways, so I shall be paying attention. And don't worry about being exactly on time, it's fine if you are not. A secret tentacles. Why did you have to go and tell them that? <laughs> yes. But also, the other fact is that uh, when I am thinking, which this game has me do a lot, Ten. Placing four, and I apparently have to do this to be able to place them down. That's excellent, Bold. That's excellent. Uh, you do not have a bird's eye view. Uh, and and you do not have blueprints. Uh, the devs have said that they are not going to add blueprints to the game, which, personally, I uh, have to uh, say outright that I approve of that decision, uh, because I feel that blueprints are not a good idea, especially not if they are made shareable. However, they have added this. Uh, mass dismantle. You can dismantle up to 50 items by marking them with holding down control. And since you can do that, it is very likely that as development progresses, that they are going to give us copy-paste. And maybe some kind of personal clipboard, aka personal blueprints that you can use uh, in a quick access menu. They have added a lot of quality of life to the game since I started playing the game. Uh, not immediately after release, because I remember that when Satisfactory came out, I was so convinced that I would not like the game and that I would be continuing to play Factorio. Which I know some people in the chat will find that specific statement highly amusing. And here we are, two years-ish later, and I have three and a half thousand hours in the game. Exactly. Thank you for the lurk, Myzena. Oh, and I 
don't know if I mentioned, but for those of you who did not come in with the raid, and for those of you who did come in with the raid but are not familiar with uh, the Mizena or uh, uh, Gold Viking, they are both members of the Red Circuit family, and uh, you should definitely uh, uh, go follow them both. And we also have a Discord, so... There is that too. Did the game crash? Yes, it did. Uh, and I know that the reason for the crash was... Um, Not all who wander are lost. Smart. There is no doubt that the reason for the crash was smart. Uh, okay. I'll continue to build that without smart. Welcome to Twitch, then, as well. The blueprint thing is a very, um, what should you say, controversial topic to discuss. Um, my personal take on it is that, yes, it is definitely uh, optional. Uh, you can choose whether or not to use them. Uh, and players who have uh, a high degree of creativity uh, will not use them. Um, the problem that I see with blueprints is that for the more casual player, they are very likely not going to use them. Because why spend all that time? when you can just download uh, KOS's blueprints or Neelaus's blueprints or and so forth. Do I really want to do this without Smart? Smart wasn't working very well anyways. Let's do this the old-fashioned way. Thank you so much, Cyclomatic, and uh, welcome back another time then. Cyclomactic, not Cyclomatic. This is always fun, because there is a bug in the game that turns these things randomly around. Uh, that said, blueprints in Satisfactory would be... Um, hmm. Problematic because of the um, the landscape and the 3D. Uh, I know that there's a mod that does blueprint functionality, so if you really want to have uh, blueprint functionality, uh, you can get it. Uh, it's probably not working right now since they recently uh, updated the game. But the option is there. Uh, for those who want to have uh, blueprints uh, through modding. Uh, but how well it works, that is another question, because let's say that I blueprinted all of this, and then I poked it down on the edge of that mountain cliff over there, then I would not be able to deconstruct a lot of the foundations because they would be stuck underneath, and then I would have to go use the save game editor in the calculator to actually remove the foundations if I placed it down wrong. So... That might also be something to factor in, like, if they add copy-paste, they'll have to to uh, to make sure that the copy-paste thing uh, checks if the blueprint is, or, or I, I guess it would be a blueprint, is placeable without clipping through the world, because most people will not use the calculator. Thank you so much for popping in, Fallen Angel, and uh, you have a very good uh, night. And thank you so much for uh, subscription again. Very, very appreciated. The dog needs feeding. Catch up to you in a tentacle. Nice job with explanations, and thanks for the eye tentacle tentacle. You are very welcome for the tentacle. I hope that the uh, insights did give you some... Uh, 
useful insight into the game. Uh, feel free to pop in. I tend to only stream this game when I'm hooked on it, and I will probably stream this game for the entirety of the winter. So, uh, and thank you for popping in, and have a good night. Exactly, Peps. And that is probably the reason why they have not done that yet, because that sounds like a heck of a sanity check to be doing uh, client-side. One thing that I can say when it comes to copy-paste and blueprints is what I'm doing here would be having copy-paste for this work here would be very, very welcome. Um, much love from my wrist because when you have to place down, now that I can't use smart because it's crashing the game, when you have to place down a lot of things um, it definitely is noticeable in the wrist, uh, and since I am a heavy computer user, tendinitis is a thing. Uh, I'm pretty sure that if they do that, they will add in a limitation. Uh, one of the things that they added as a quality of life in this patch was, uh, Back before update 5, you had to place down foundations one by one. Uh, they added in zooping, which you can zoop up to 10 foundations, either uh, horizontally or vertically. Uh, there are also some other items you can zoop, like um, conveyor poles. You can zoop those, but again, up to 10. Uh, and probably other things that I forget. That you can zoop as well. So there's definitely uh, there's definitely improvement in regards to uh, to that because some of the projects that I've built, I when I've used a lot of foundations, um, missing iron plate. Now that's something that I haven't been missing for a long time. Zooping is really 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 good, but. Where was I? Yeah, uh, like the platform that we're on now, you can see that this is a lot of foundations. Um, with souping, it is better. Uh, but when I had smart working, they dropped a patch today because of a holiday event called Fixmas. And that seems to have broken several of the mods again. Um, probably because it adds assets to the game. But... When I built this, I built it in three mouse clicks instead of, well, many, very many. So that, that's, that's definitely a benefit. Is that all I'm producing here in terms of iron plate? Apparently so. I shall uh, scavenge some from these as well then. I would very definitely... Uh... Well, splitters or balancers in Factorio is a good example of something where blueprints is very useful because uh, building splitters like 8 to 8 splitter, having to look at a screenshot of that so that you can make that for the first time every time you do uh, a map. And also train tracks is another good idea or a good example of where blueprints would be uh, kind of a pain if they removed it from Factorio. So, um, personally, I don't object to blueprints. I'm, I'm just happy that they... Ex yeah, exactly that Silent Storm. But the, but the one thing that I object to in keep in mind that is heavily quotationed uh, from my end because I, this is not really an objection but 
what is a bit sad uh, in regards to blueprints is uh, and that specifically goes for uh, for factorio and it would probably go for satisfactory as well uh, it's the base in a book blueprints oh, i need iron rods as well which many people tend to use and using the base in a book blueprints i mean if, if you find it fun go ahead um i, I don't care uh it's not really my business at all but the base in a book style blueprints um kind of takes away I say takes away the fun of the game but it definitely takes away the longev longevity of the game because if you just plop that down you won't know why uh, or, or each um, step of the um, of the construction process. Why are you building this money of this item and so forth? So it takes away that part of the game in terms of learning what goes where, why, uh, how many ratios, things like that. Um, but again. Uh, it's not something that matters to me on the point that I actually have a very strong opinion on. I should do something. Exactly, Silent Storm. But those that do, uh, I, I suppose I can't really say that I wouldn't say they are not playing the game, because they are, but... Uh, and they might be having fun with it as well. It's kind of like having... As an example, um, I've played uh, quite a bit of Total War Warhammer 2. I've got above 1k hours in that game as well. Barely above 1k. And when I did some of the achievements, like... I did one legendary campaign without any mods. And that was painful. Um, and then there were specific factions in the game that are not that enjoyable to play, <coughs> green skins, and that kind of led me to, uh, hey, I can use mods to make this, uh, quicker and easier, and I did. So, um, but that's technically cheating. Which, I guess that by that statement, I'm actually saying that someone that is using a uh, base in a box blueprint would be cheating, which that's not what I mean. So yeah, controversial issue, difficult to talk about. Yes, I actually know the 44 balancer. I could still make that without having to look it up. No, this actually isn't looking too bad. I think I might stick with this. Well, unless I put the rails down underneath the base, which is something that I have been uh, toying with the idea of. Ooh. I was close. I don't like driving the trains manually. Not when I have this many trains on the line. Ooh. That reminds me of when I played Doom 2, Glass Deviant. You couldn't lasso the uh, tanks back then, so you had to give them orders one by one. And no, I would not want to go back to that again. But at the end of the day, I think that 
implementing blueprints in Satisfactory, uh, that is something Coffee Stain has said that they will not do. And I suspect the reason for why they will not do it is because of the world being 3D and it would have way too many sanity checks for them to implement it. Because if they implement it, it has to have all the sanity checks because they have to to factor in the... Uh, the um, um, the pebcac issue. Uh, as in the problem exists between keyboard and chair. Or computer and chair, depending on how you write the abbreviation. Uh, modders do not have to do that. So a modder can just happily uh, make that functionality. Uh, because if someone installs a mod, uh, then it's the person who installed the mod's own responsibility uh, if that breaks the game. But a limited copy-paste uh, on par with the, uh, the the mouse dismantle tool with a limitation to how many... Like, say, if I wanted to copy this setup, then I could mark the buildings that I wanted to copy uh, in addition to the mergers. And then by pressing a button, I can just flip it down and I get exactly the same layout over there. No. Uh, they do not auto-spin when I put the belts, so you have to be careful with uh, where the input and uh, output is on the spitters and mergers. Uh, and there is there is also a very annoying bug that has been there since the game started. If Probably won't trigger now that I'm showing it, but if you look at the input, it's now going uh, to the north. Now, there it is. Now, the input on the next one, which I, in my brain, would think logically should be the same way. I mean, it's easy enough to flip it. You just tap the mouse wheel, or spin the mouse wheel, but it wants to put it that way. And then the next one flips around and flips around and flips around and so forth. If I put one more in the direction that I want it to be, now they go that direction. That is one of the reasons why I uh, like to use smart for placing down uh, splitters and mergers, because um, having to keep track of that all the time when you're placing down this many splitters and mergers... Uh, I mean, I'm, I'm used to it, it's not that, but... Uh, yes, it is rather inconvenient. Uh, now, these five here, how much are these going to be producing? They are going to be producing 300. Uh, this is not auto-orientation either, uh, Glass Deviant. It's just, it's just a bug. You see, now, now they're, now it's working. Uh... It, it's totally unpredictable. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. But there is a visual or, uh, visual indication when it's placed down. That green U is output, whereas three lights like that is input. So that is one of the indications. The other indication is, you can see this one has the coloration down there. That's an output. This one is grey. That's an input. But there's also the visual indication when you place it down in, in form of the uh, the arrows. Green for out, red for in. But yes, it is very subtle. Uh, and it's very easy to miss. So I solely use the arrows when placing down. But when you place these towers down, because of the, um, the holographic um, ghost, it's difficult. But this is on the list of um, feature requests made by the community uh, that Coffee Stain should fix. But it could, yes, definitely could be better. The indication is not at all good enough, in my opinion. Yeah, I leave the old toggle on in Factorio as well. Uh, so, I want to connect these together. 
because I need to use that as a visual indicator here. Can I fit five machines? I can. Uh, feel free to ask anything if you need uh, you need any uh, pointers through anything uh, it's done boys I'm happy to uh, to uh, provide what little uh, knowledge I may have gained that goes for most of the satisfactory uh, content creator community it's an awesome content creator community uh, people are so friendly and helpful in this community thank you for staying up over an hour too late for my sake peps it's been nice to have you here, and uh, you should have sweet dreams and sleep well, and I will see you again soon. Humility never hurt anyone, you know, uh, Lost Deviant. Some might claim that it's not my strongest suit. Yeah, it looks like it's four worlds, but it is just one world based on, and it's four different starting locations. One tool that I can strongly recommend to you, uh, I mean you get the in-game map at a certain uh, threshold, but one tool that I can strongly recommend to you is... Come on. The uh, satisfactorycalculator.com gives you an interactive map of the world uh, where you can also even upload your save game and you can see uh, what you have built, you can edit things, uh, you can see where the nodes are. But if you're very early on in the game, I would recommend that you um, try to explore the world uh, on your own first because exploration is a really fun part of the game. 100 hours to realize that it's the same map doesn't really uh, surprise me because um, the world is, uh, I think it's 20 by 20 kilometers-ish, 25 by 25, um, something like that. I don't remember the exact numbers. Uh, and the biomes are very different from one another. Um, the northern forest is over there, this is the rocky desert. And you have the uh, the red forest up there, the crater lakes up at the top of that thing that I have built for the trains to go up and down over there. But you have the southern grasslands, which for some reason the game recommends as the initial starting zone. I would recommend the northern forest, even though the monsters in the northern forest could be a little bit harder than the ones that are in the southern uh, in, in the grasslands. But um. Yeah, Northern Forest is, uh, you have more resources available in a tighter area, so you don't have to uh, struggle too much with the um, having to build belts, uh, like a lot of belts, to get things from A to B. Um, so you get a more concentrated um, base, which at least I would say is uh, better for a, for a new player. Also, welcome back, Wally. The uh, latest. Not all who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Silent Storm. The uh, latest patch broke smart again, Wally. Or rather, it, it's semi semi working, but uh, it crashes the game and it wants to build 255 uh, splitters and murders when I increase the number. So I have to do it manually now. Fun. As you would say. Um...
So this would be 600 in one row. Yes, I suspect that most of you Europeans it will start to uh, to bugger off around this time of night. It takes a very uh, borked sleep schedule. Or as Peps said earlier when he joined the stream. Oh no, I've done this wrong. Have I done all of them wrong? Yes, I have. Uh, for a blick is so bigger... Uh, Obertro, believe it or not, can have the bottom. So wire is what I'm going to make with copper. Uh, I have to build these over again because I really want this to look uniform. Norway is very definitely the same time zone as uh, the rest of Europe, or rather, it is in. As most of the rest of Europe. CET currently, since we are in uh, the non daylight saving. Or, or rather, this might be the daylight saving. Winter time, anyways. I just have a very borked sleep. So I'm quite awake. Well, if anyone from Europe is awake currently, um, and they don't have a borked sleep like I do, um, they might want to go to bed around now, at the very latest, if they're going to work tomorrow. Zürich. So, 125 at your place too. Yeah. That's, that, that's usually the common thing when it comes to... Uh, I did this wrong, didn't I? Yes, I did. Good thing I spotted it before I placed down all of them. I'm very much a night owl. Night owl. Um, but since this is basically my work... Uh, I can do it when I'm awake. Not all who wander are lost. Thank you so much for the follow, Nando... Rock SP or another rocks P. Yeah, that's the, that's one of the benefits of having this as my primary quote unquote work. Although I don't depend on the income from it, thankfully. Eight would definitely be, uh, even when I do have a regular sleep schedule, regular as in what most people have as a sleep schedule, which is uh, not that common. Uh, but yes, that is definitely uh, in the middle of the night for me as well. The only bad thing about having a, a night sleep schedule in um, wintertime when you live in Norway is that uh, the sun comes up... Let's see... So it's the 1st of December, and sunrise will be at 8.49, and sunset will be at uh, 3.41. So that's about seven hours of sunlight, or daylight. And, uh, well, it is here. You're a couple of hours away still. But I do have uh, this glorious little device that helps me with this. And you guys should definitely uh, notice when I turn this thing on. Because I get very illuminated. Now we need a... We should have an angel choir when I put this thing on. It's a 10,000 lumen uh, daylight therapy blah blah lamp. Light therapy lamp apparently is what it is called according to the backside. I used to have um, uh, one with 
blue light, but uh, I also have a, an eye condition, uh, which blue light, I've gotten photosensitive, so blue light kind of hurt my eyes. So on Bold Viking's recommendation, I uh, bought a new one, which has orange light, which is much better for my eyes. Wait, how much does this require an input? Ah, 15 minutes. But yes, I, uh, and I also have to take uh, vitamin D and fish oil supplements in, especially in winter time. Exactly eight hours of daylight today. Yeah. I suspect that my sleep problems, would quote unquote problems, would be solved if I lived uh, like in southern Italy or Spain or something, since you don't get much variance on uh, the length of day throughout the year. The nearer you are to equator, there is a little bit of variance, of course, but it's not as significant as it is here. What confuses me a bit, though, is that even though in winter we can have, like, uh, I think we're around six and a half to seven hours of daylight uh, around winter solstice but in summer near summer solstice uh, we only have like three hours of darkness i love sunrise and sunset in this game because so many of the plants have this like nice glow to them you know like these they all look super cool that is a nice quote also, I see that you found one of the fine jellyfish or whatever they are. So that's our first stop. Our second stop, we will go see the UFO. Crabs? The lava bees are allegedly flying crabs. My brain wants to ask what kind of crab you're referring to, but uh, I'm going to ask my brain to refrain from asking that question. So uh, I, I, I never said that. Sorry, I, I couldn't res No, 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 no. I'm not going to ask them that question, Cobalt. Trust you, me. <laughs> I, I don't want to know the answer. That's, that's the, uh, that, that's the answer to that one. Yep, that's about how it is. I'm not. I mean, Arendal is a bit south of, uh, of Helsinki, uh, so it isn't quite as, uh, as bright here. Uh. I think we have about, well, 3 a.m. midsummer uh, in June, late June, early July, 3 a.m. it will be light outside. The sun will, will not be up, as in you can't see it on the sky yet, but, the, but the, the sky will be blue by then. You don't care about the answer, you just want some of it? Yep. Well, not for me, but uh, I, I don't... That those things doesn't work very well for me. Uh, your your attempt at trolling me, Wally, was uh, was a lost cause again because I didn't get it. Yeah, I suppose you can. I'll have to uh, to allow you the option to do so. How do I do that quickly?
There we go. I think a lot of people here can um, relate to that one indeed, Captain Chaos. <laughs> That's a good one. I like that. Let's see. Uh, these are going to go here. And I'm not sure if I can use this height or if I have to use some creative uh, lift shenanigans here. What was Auto Cucumber? What did you mean to write? I should probably specify. 60 per minute? Yeah, sure. Uh, he, he's not back from work yet. He probably won't be back from work for another for another hour. Try, get, then you might get an answer. Oh, okay. Now I got it. Was that trolling though? Okay, my lips are really dry. Um, I think I'm going to go get rid of the dead skin very quickly. So I'll be back in just a minute. There we go. I definitely should start up the uh, humidifier. The uh, humidity in the office is currently at 21, which is a tad low. You do that, Glass Deviant. Thankfully, I don't have to listen to that. That sounds um, awkward. Okay, now I need copper to get up here. I need to adjust the volume on that one a little bit, I think. Yeah, it's working. It's just that I have to um, disinfect the uh, paper in the uh, intake. Which is a bother. Put this at... Can I type the number now? No, I cannot. Can I use... I cannot. Silly bot. That's probably a little less intrusive. Well, it depends. Sometimes he starts work at uh, 5 a.m. But those times, it also doesn't matter that my sleep schedule is borked, because uh, then he would go to bed at, uh, like, 9 p.m. And, uh, yeah, if I go to, 
the, if I sit up and stream till four o'clock in the morning, then it doesn't really matter because that's about when he gets up and have to go to work. So, yeah. I don't think I need two stations for copper here, to be honest. Very much depends on the... Why is there a train here? I have no idea why I put it in here. Yeah, we're kind of lucky in that sense, because he either works very early, or he works very late. So, both ways, it works out. Okay, I need these... How far? I have to do some shenanigans. I think I have to do some shenanigans with the belts. So, take a good look at how many trains I'm sending through that junction over there. Because I'm currently creating some issues in that regards. Thank you so much, Silent Storm. And thank you for hanging out a little bit uh, extra. And I hope to see you again soon. Uh, da, 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 da. Welcome back, Jalara. Is this the actual names of the people I'm using? Yes, it is. I, I still have no idea what PT means. I, I made that abbreviation for this uh, train segment, but uh, whatever it means, no clue. This will be X, PT, Copper, 1. join this train. No, I am apparently not going to join that train. So I think I forgot to do that. Um, that's a bit of, bit of a bother. I'm going to join this train then. Welcome back, Ground Buster. But making dinner. I also need to remember to remove those two signals there. This intersection here, this four-way intersection, has a lot of trains going through it. Now, it doesn't work exactly like in Factorio, where only one train can pass through at a time. Any train that doesn't incur a collision will be able to pass through. But still.
turn off self-driving. And let me catch you, please. Thank you. I really like the path signals in uh, Satisfactory. Um, I also like the chain signals in Factorio. But yes, the path signals are definitely... Um, definitely more intelligent than the chain signals. The issue with the uh, path signals, though, is that, like here, if that block signal that we just passed now hadn't been there, the path signal here would have turned green sooner and I wouldn't have had the slowdown. So, on most of my stretches where I have path signals, I try to have... Like, I could remove the signal here, too. Because the moment we pass that, the signal, the path signal there goes green and it doesn't slow down the uh, the uh, train. Here you can see on the uh, other side, I have a very long block there uh, before the path signal on purpose. This one I should remove as well. I really need to take a train out and just drive the line so I can see which ones that I need to remove of the block signals. Also, welcome in Mr. Slurp. Uh, I have not added this automatically on you, so I shall do it manually. This is kind of starting to work now, but I'm I'm a bit worried about uh, throughput on the uh, on the network because I'm up to many trains already. And this isn't even half of how many trains I actually want to have on the line. Uh, copper 2, turn on self-driving. Well, still nice to shout you out. I have watched you stream it, but it is a while ago. There we are. Uh, we are now getting in copper at an atrocious rate of zero items per minute. Well, thankfully, a shout out doesn't mean that you are obliged to stream. But update 5, and you are a very good satisfactory player, so update 5, if you want to uh, stream again, I'm sure that many people would be interested to see what you can come up with. Uh, now, getting the copper up there. That is another interesting challenge. I just place down a floor hole. Just as a... Um... Okay, so that is a very inconvenient spot for it. Uh, however, I need a splitter. Foundations is kind of a game changer in that sense, yes. Definitely. Then that will take 300 each way. That goes to there. And that goes to there. It doesn't really matter what speed the belt is. Because it will just 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. It's just like a, like a, a router. Pinging, flipping, the, or a switch, really. Oh, I, I wouldn't mind doing a no no foundation challenge, um, but I suspect I would have lots of people coming in here and calling me a heretic for uh, for doing it. Expectations and stuff. I mean, if I if I had done this 
I can assure you that there would have been people calling me a heretic. Just for doing this. Imagine what it would be like if I did a no foundation challenge. Like, I even have a, a non foundation hypertube going down there. I try telling people that, Grand Buster, but do they, do they listen to me? No, 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 no. They keep calling me a heretic regardless. Mm-hmm. See? Wally, for those of you who don't know, uh, is the arch heretic. Oh, he's the leader of the heret the, uh, the heretical. Uh, something. Entourage. Might also be a good idea to actually put that thing into the splitter and not the merger, because I don't think I want that to happen. Actually, I don't think you ever called me a heretic, Jalara. That said... Let me just check something. I have something that I think I want to show you guys. Um, search, update, uh, yes it is, saved, save games. I have not done any heretical things. Do stop that. This is heresy. Sort by date modified. Okay, so Rocky autosave 35. We shall continue this in a little bit. I have no idea where I'm going to spawn in on this map. This is not my save. This is not my game. But since a no foundation challenge was mentioned, I figured that I could show this. Because this is glorious. This is the most glorious construction ever. Two seconds. I don't know what's going to meet us when we get out here, but... And this is with foundations. Are there any uh, hover packs or anything lying around here? Uh, how about in this chest? No hover pack, but it is at the... Blade Runner. This is indeed JD's safe. This is a glorious base. This is this is this is magnificence incarnate. I mean how can it be better than this? Some of these belts are just absolutely amazing. The way that things beautifully do not clip through one another. The edges, the turns. I think I'm going to feature this on YouTube. And I'm not joking. I, I, I want to feature this on YouTube because this space is... Uh, I think the... Uh, the um, oh, they've actually built something out there that has structure. What is that? If it's, uh, look at this beauty here. It is indeed very organic. Amusingly enough, is built there. They are building this base in the same area as I have my base. 
This too. What? Magnificent. Like the belts going through the assembler into here and then through the. This is just glorious. And the trains too. They they have they they are uh, not necessarily going where you'd expect them to go. Like through the mountains and things like that. Belt clipping through the machine is... Uh, yeah! <laughs> the worst thing is, I don't mind seeing this, like, I don't... Garbage sink line. I don't mind, I like, I, I love watching JD when he's streaming from this factory because it is so, like... Why not just use a belt hole here? Um, it is such a different way of playing the game from what I'm used to. But he doesn't have the time that I do to dedicate to satisfy. This is just amazing. Some of these contraptions are just awesome. There, there's absolutely no, uh, no factoring in uh, balancing of the belt or anything. It's just a glorious tentacled mess of spaghetti and pasta and clipping. And I find it highly amusing. Should send this to Total Eclipse and see if he would make a, a feature video on it. And this is even the worst part of the factory. Th there are worse things than this here, but I don't remember where the hypertube uh, things are. Let's see. Is there an entrance here somewhere? Yeah, here we go. Whoa, okay. Well then. This is like your hypertubes, Cobalt. Clipping through all the things. Even through the... Oh. Look at the... <laughs> oh, this is just glorious. This is so amusing. Ah, oh, there's even a train going straight through there. That's great. The coal potential. <laughs> Do they, do they have any trains? They do have a train out there. At Dordrecht, Dordrecht Central. There's a train down there as well. Radar tower. Boom. Mark II. Okay. I kind of want to ride the train, but I don't know if I can find where it is. That is that is very fast. The train is supposed to be here somewhere. Oh, it, it, it left. Oh, this is a cyber wagon. Right. I shall I shall save your poor souls from uh, from this. I just find this very amusing. And I love watching uh, JD play together with Bilbo and uh, I don't remember the name of the third one. He even goes out of his way to, to make sure that things clip as much as possible sometimes and it's just glorious. However, I can see why it would, um, shall we say, trigger some people. I mean, satisfactory... JD and, I, JD and I have actually talked a little bit about this. Uh, I'm going to go a little bit serious now, to be honest, or to prepare you. Um, I do not have OCD. OCD is a very, very serious condition. Um, what I do have, however, is anxiety. And... <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> the thing with, uh, with uh, Satisfactory for me is that the reason why I've sunk so many hours into this game and why I build the way that I build is that when you get into this flow of building things in this organized 90 degree corners, everything is supposed to be very correctly built. It's like you shut off uh, 
all the parts of the brain that are responsible for anxiety, uh, overthinking, all that, it just disappears. It's like, I think it's the closest that I can come to meditation. Whereas, as JD says, for his part, he has a plethora of games that he wants to play. And he does not have 1,000 hours to sink into Satisfactory to do this. So he wants to play the game. He wants to, to get to the end of the current uh, space elevator technology to play around a bit with, uh, with the, uh, the, the stuff that is possible to do currently in the game. And then, of course, uh, trolling, in quotation mark, um, me a little bit, uh, which is a part of the amusement. But for him to experience the game, he would not be able to experience the game this way because he doesn't have time to do it. So for him, it's either play the game the way that he does or it is uh, not play the game at all. And Satisfactory, he has played it a couple of hundred hours already and he likes the game, so... But yes, the that's what I mean. I understand that it actually triggers uh, people, um, especially if you have tendencies towards OCD or, or uh, you need things to be organized. Uh, then that style factory does not work. I would not be able to build that style factory myself. I would lose the immersion uh, that gives me the... Um, What have I done here? Yeah, I would lose the immersion that the game gives me in form of that Zen mode slash meditation. I seem to have built these the wrong way around. No, I haven't. Why? Oh, this one is wrong. And this one, 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 and this one. Because on the mergers, the indicator of the input is the red. But yeah, the, the third indicator, which I mentioned earlier, is that on top you can see that outputs are grey, inputs are the colour of your base. So normally that would be orange. Uh, let's I, I have to build these over again then. put down one the holograms make it a bit difficult to see the direction not of the all arrows. who wander are lost thank you so much for the follow ratkin 101 into the channel exactly cobalt and yes hdhd hdhd that that, that doesn't roll easily off the tongue in English. It's a little bit easier in Norwegian. Uh, something not quite right here. Either I built this wrong. That isn't wrong. ADHD. HDHD. Oh, it's clipping to that, or snapping to that, that's what. Three, three. But how, how? I don't have a D H D. Yeah, I don't know. Four, A4 four letters. That rolls better off the tongue. Uh, I don't have that myself. Uh, how does that work? Games turn off the random bits for a while. Now that makes sense. HDHD. HD. Yep. Somewhat fitting though in a way it's super fun 
There's no sarcasm around here, is there? For some reason, my brain went into super happy tree friends there. Which I don't even like. Okay, that's one belt. Which will be carrying 300. How much... I should have enough left to build the output belt. Each of these are outputting 30, so this belt will be fine. It has indeed been a while, yes. In college, you continued your hobby of ballet class a few times a week because while you were thinking about dancing, everything else in your life melted away for the 60 to 90. Yeah. That is very much how uh, games like um, Satisfactory work for me. I cannot play high action first person games like uh, first person shooters because and I can definitely not play horror games because those do the very opposite. Uh, those trigger the adrenaline in my brain so it actually worsens my anxiety. So I, I tend to stick with games that... Um, are either strategy or that keeps my brain occupied with having to um, solve problems. And I guess Satisfactory is kind of one of those uh, problem-solving games. Did I do this one wrong as well? I did. All of them, actually. Oh, well. Even when I do things wrong, like I've done here, it still keeps me in that mindset where building it in straight lines just keeps my brain happy. But I don't mind watch other people play, uh, like JD's base. I'm actually very amused by uh, the extreme difference in building style so long as i don't have to do it myself i'm using one mod at the moment which is no fog uh, i also tend to use smart but uh, the latest patch uh, with the fixmus uh, made smart crash the game and also the placement uh, the, uh, if you want to place mergers or splitters uh, simultaneously that does not work very well it tried to place 255 splitters in one row, going way through there somewhere. But I don't use... The only the only features that I use in Smart is... Um, uh, placing down multiple buildings, mergers, splitters, and foundations at once. I don't use the auto-connect thing, and... While I would like to use the, uh, the feature where you can... Um, copy the recipe from a building apparently you can only do that while target with one building at a time even though i was hovering above a building like this when i was placing down multiple uh it only copied the recipe if i placed down one building at a time I'm not sure why might be a bug. Uh, I mean, it's the first version they released after update 5, so... And it's an extensive mod. 
But since I like to have my belts elevated like this, um, I don't get to use the um, the automatic recipe copy thing or automatic belt connection thing and so forth. And to be honest, even if I could use those, I don't think I would use them because, as I mentioned yesterday when we were discussing Smart after I discovered it worked uh, in the stream, I there are certain features of Smart that are really nice, but if you get used to them, um, like I couldn't figure out how to turn that off. But one of the new features is that when you connect a belt from there to there, I would not have to click again to continue the belt. Uh, Smart kept the belt tool active until I connected it to something, or I would have to right-click. Which I guess is a nice feature, but if you get used to it, then you get messed up when you can't use the mod. Psychoanalysis through factories. <laughs> yeah, you might be onto something there, the Mr. Slurp. You might indeed be onto something there. Look, the coffee in my cup now looks like oil. Um, okay, now we get to do the, uh, the fun part of uh, clicking wire 30 times. Or rather, 28, I think. And yes, I know there's copy-paste of, uh, of recipes, but uh, I don't like Control v Control c for copy-paste when you have to do it many times in a row, because for some reason I tend to click Control c instead of Control v and then I have to do things over again. The one thing that I wish it, the game didn't do, though, was center the cursor every time. Organized, but clearly lacks the ability to plan ahead. How would you analyze me based on that, Cobalt? Note, I did not ask Wally. For good reason. I'm sure he will be offering his opinion anyways, but... Um... I mean, he doesn't necessarily have to be asked to offer his opinion. Strangely enough. There we go. I think so too. Organized, but not very good at planning ahead. Also, always try to go faster is, uh, is a good description of you, Cobalt. And th there is a final thing that would also uh, fit very well, Cobalt. I did it for science. I thought you would think that, Wally. Now that is a very inconvenient place to have a power connector. Do I care? Not particularly, because I think it's going to go away. Yep. Nicely hidden inside of there. Yeah. You can, can you?
I, uh, I'm not going to ask. The cable clipping is the one thing that I don't really care about. I don't clip anything else but cable. Ah, I don't mind. Because I tend to have one power pole per uh, machine, so the cables will always clip through the elevator or lift things anyways. So I've just uh, come to the conclusion that uh, caring about clipping on the cables is too much of a bother. Now, is that the correct location for that? Yes, it is. However, I actually might move it. Because I need power there. So, I might as well remove it. It's still going... The cable is still going to clip through, but... Uh, that's not a problem. At least the, the uh, power of it. Power thingy is... And I want to bring that with me up. Yeah. Then I'd like to put that in there. Yes, uh, that is a, a very good uh, point indeed, Master Deviant. You probably add a lot more hours to my games. That's true. It depends on what the triggers are. Oh, for crying out loud. You know, Cobalt, I'm not a fan of the fact that you can now do power poles uh, this close to one another. I liked the old system better than this. I wish they could give us an option between the new grid for the power poles and the, uh, the old grid, because this is just annoying me. And the main reason for that is because I like to pull power through the floor... Which means that if I place a power pole outside of the old grid, these do not snap to the new grid. So, demonstrating, I can put it there and there, but not between them. So that means that I would get the, uh, the cable showing, because this way I can hide the cable inside of the power pole. Yeah, I, I also feel that one meter is plenty. Ah, we're going to have more cable clipping. And you go there. could at least give us an option to turn it off. Two seconds. I got message from husband. And finally there. And then the fun bit of connecting it all up. You can also build some modern power pole art. No, not burger today, Wally. 
Today I have pizza. Burger tomorrow. I need to fetch more water and I need to go to the bathroom. So uh, I think I will have uh, a short little break here. So be right back. Bathroom and water has been achieved. Presumably it's possible that offer option to toll grids, but you don't see it happening. Well, modders could add it. I also am very happy that you can turn off the sounds on individual things. I don't remember if I managed to turn down the sound on the chain, so it sounded pretty loud when I put it on earlier. Oh, you can even turn the sound of consumables down individually now, in addition to the misophonia mode. Hmm. I haven't turned down the chainsaw. Because it's very loud. I wouldn't describe it as a vicious cycle, uh, Wally. Uh, burgers, yeah. I enjoy a burger. Uh, you'd think I'd eat them. I'm eating them all the time. I'm really not. I'm probably eating burger maybe once a week or something. If only Doggo had a misophonia mode. <laughs> That's the benefit of having a cat who is not very talkative. You don't have to uh, to deal with uh, noises in the same way. A vis oh gods, viscous cycle. Ah. Uh. Humor, ha ha. <laughs> yes.
But that humor is uh, painfully real. I thought I had placed all of the um, power poles, but apparently I hadn't. Dismantle. I thought you wrote Stray Awesome, and I was like, what? Stray Awesome? What the heck is it on now? Uh, thank you, uh, Glass, and uh, you have a, a nice outing. Also, I have no idea what Dismantle is, but it sounds like a destructive game. Yes. Have a good evening, you two Cobalt. Thank you for popping in, and uh, see you soon. One thing that never ceases to amaze me with uh, Satisfactory is how much time is spent doing these things. Steam is updating your game. Thank you for the lurk. I don't want to build a power pole on top of the machine game. Uh, that's all those started up. Which means that this is the final line. Uh, I kind of lost track of my bearings there. That should be all of the machines, and that means that I'm producing a grand total of 900 wire, where 300 of that goes into... No, 300 of that is not going into the cable machines. 150 is going into the cable machines. Oh, hum. This entire row needs to be dedicated to that. What was I thinking? Well, as Waller would say, you probably weren't thinking. And in this case, he would be right. I apparently wasn't thinking. Isn't it helpful, Wally, when I can troll myself on your behalf? I mean, as a lazy person, that should give you much pleasure, because that means you don't have to uh, spend calories typing the trolling. Yes. I'm being very considerate, aren't I? 
Okay, now. Now we're producing enough. For all of these machines. Good. So that's copper taken care of. Creepily so. <laughs> I wonder if um, that means that there might have been a patch drop. Mm, not according to here. How about... Nope. Patch notes. Oh, geez. Long. 30th of November. Known issues. Blah, blah, blah. Nah. I do not know. How is my power grid looking currently? 27,000 megawatts is what I'm... How did that go above 27,000? What? That doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense at all. How can that number go above 27,000? I very specifically have, I think, 150 or is it 180 fuel generators? And they should not be able to produce more than 150 each. Thirty, sixty, one hundred and eighty fuel generators. Burning twelve fuel per minute, producing twenty. I have nothing except for those hundred and eighty fuel generators. So that's kind of scary. Oh well, um, I need to store these wires somehow, and I am producing 900, guess what I can do is simply put down an industrial storage container. Um, I'm not going to be able to... Why did I delete the merger? I'm not going to be able to uh, get full throughput here, but that isn't really a, a, main, a major issue right now because I just need to have wires stored somewhere. Uh, I am going to be using this wire for something. Uh, I do not remember what... Stitched iron plates, that's what it is. Really? There we 
go. No, oh, that's the wrong belt. I do not want copper sheet or copper ingots in there. Here, have some copper ingots. Where you f Ooh, okay. You can take them then. That's better. Okay, next up is... Iron Plate. And iron rods. Okay, so if I do this, and I'm going to use the basic iron rod recipe for now, I think. I believe there is an alternate where I can use steel for that. Steel rod, yes. Which is a very good recipe, I should add, but I'm not going to use that now. Um, okay, I need to move these to a separate... There we go. So... With 1,200 iron ingots, I need 50 constructors. Do I really need that many iron rods? Item browser. Uh, iron rod. I don't think I need that many iron rods. <coughs> uh, they are used in the basic modular frame recipe, but I don't need that. I'm not using the basic... So, not that one, not that one, not that one, not that one. Screws, I would rather use cast screws for that. Rotors, I would want to use the one that uses steel pipe and wire for simplicity. Rebar gun. Rotors, that, that basic recipe must be one of the most horrible ones in the game. It takes both iron rods and screws. That is, that is absolutely awful. Portable miners, modular frames, I think I'm using a different recipe for that. Pretty sure I am. I'm using the steeled frame for that. So I do not need that many iron rods. Why the heck have I set up a production of 300 iron rods? 150 should be more than enough. too many. Okay, so I will... No, that is also too many. Right. That is an awkward number. Can I adjust that? Thirty-nine constructors for iron plate. Uh, 
and two constructors for iron rods because I don't really need more than 30 per minute and that means that I will be getting 780 iron plate out of this line. It's going to be a little bit awkward though because I need to split the belt very weirdly. Andean, welcome. I've been streaming for a little bit more than a month, actually. I just forgot to um, start uploading the uh, the VODs to YouTube. Um, and I also had the Pathfinder Kingmaker uh, stuff, but... Uh, that actually, that, that's a mildly interesting story. I actually um, stopped playing Pathfinder Kingmaker due to all of the nasty comments that I got in the comment fields on the... Um, on the uh, guide videos that I posted. Normally I have a very thick skin when it comes to that, but the amount of nasty comments that I got there was actually too much for me. So I just kind of lost interest. Which is very rare. But that is part of being a content creator. Sometimes you have to deal with the fact that people are not happy. Uh, I need to count foundations now. One, two, three. Why am I losing power at that area there? So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's a nice even number. Uh, the problem is that I'm not going to get the uh, distance that I want, but uh, apparently I am lacking a power connector. So one, two. And one, two. I can have four rows. Forty one constructors. Normally, that is exactly what I do, uh, and I also have a tendency to. Um, when people uh, comment things that are not that nice. Thank you, Budspot. That is an excellent interpretation of that. My philosophy has been to respond to the comment uh, politely. Uh, telling people that uh, they are entitled to have their opinion and that YouTube is a... Uh, large enough place that it should not be a huge problem for them to find a content creator that is uh, more up to their expectations. Uh, but the sheer amount of comments that I got in uh, regards to those videos is what uh, had me uh, put off back then, because it was just too much of it. I have forgotten to connect up this. One, two, three, four. Now we, we are doing a counting with Caledron session. Two, three, four. Two, three, four. Three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Four. And four. I think part of the problem why those comments actually got to me in regards to those videos were that in part some of it was true as well because I posted the guides due to the fact that Pathfinder is such a massively complicated system. I posted the guides with permission of the guide author, mind you. Um, 
without truly understanding, because I had no way that I could find time to understand and play all those classes uh, that I posted guides for, considering how massive a game uh, Pathfinder Kingmaker it is. And there's 140 something classes. If you count all of these subclasses and prestige classes, and when people theory craft for those classes, uh, when they have time to do that, which I didn't at the time, um, I felt that since people in, in this age are usually not that interested in written guides, uh, that is also why I asked for the permission from the author to make um, quote unquote video versions of it or, or of the guides. <coughs> Uh, but mm, people tried the guides uh, or tried to, to do whatever the guides were recommending them to do. Sometimes it wouldn't work because of either a patch or they had done something wrong or yeah, there were there were several reasons for why things didn't work. Uh, and I couldn't always answer the questions and uh, yeah, that, that was uh, that was a, a rough period. But normally I would not care about it. Uh, it's not like it's not like I don't get uh, nasty comments on on YouTube. It's just a part of being content creator. It's a part of being human, for that matter. You can't please and you can't please everyone. I almost said you can't please anyone. That would be a bit serious. We're in my Discord DMs, but uh, there is friendry, friendry. There is friendly trolling, and then there is unfriendly trolling. Uh, pick your poison. It is indeed a bright green. I did pick it myself as well. I'm not sure if I can make it less green. Where is that? It's not easy being green. No, no, it's not. I don't know if it helps much to, to make it darker. Oh, it does. I should have done that ages ago. Well, actually, I have been a little bit annoyed by the fact that it is very similar to the... Um, arrows on the uh especially the uh, mergers uh, no the splitters i mean so you mentioning it mentioning it uh triggered that i should actually look into it so thank you for uh, mentioning it the irony of the green that i change it into wally hey Also, welcome in. That's 40, but I need 41. What I'm thinking is I'll remove that one and I'll go over here. And I'll have two tiny constructors standing here all by themselves feeling lonely and bereft. That is not the correct position. Okay, I need to get the iron up. I'm also taking up 
1200 iron per minute. Wait a second. Oh, I'm using 600 of that. 1200, that means I need two belts. So one belt for this row, including those two, and one belt for that row. Might be a good idea to move that to here. Since I am removing one of these, that takes 30 in exchange of, for one of these, that takes 15. Uh, so that means that I need to have a belt coming up. Somewhere around here. Ideally, if I can make that, it would be best to have the belt come up. There. Obviously, they can't be in the same... Um... I don't remember exactly. Yeah, it would be there. And then this one would be... Here. Although that won't work because it has to go there. Now, if I have a splitter... That, that is too close. It has to go here, I think. And then a splitter there. Double checking that the distance is correct. Of course, it doesn't want to. So it. That is correct, isn't it? Yes. Missing cable. Well, I don't have to go far to get cable now. Why? Right behind me. One thing that I, uh, I'm doing here that I'm not sure if is a good idea is that I'm keeping all of the resources on level three. I have some on level four over there, but I don't know if that's going to uh, bite me. I don't think it will, because I'm just taking them directly out and then I can modify the height of the belt um, after the output, since they are all going in nice neat rows here.
that's the inputs and now for the outputs uh yes and uh welcome in runson warning this might be a jump scare we were trying to figure out our crappy belting system here oh my god no we were not in a jetpack or it might be runson dying we not in a jetpack yes um so I think I have it uh, because I, what I did was I ran, all of the machines are now full uh, because of uh, the container being full. I set up a sink earlier and I ran that, that fail scare, um, through here uh, and the belt kept running at 780. Uh, now I'm producing 640 uh, steel pipes in this uh, section here. But each of the manifolds, uh, or each of the mergers, have a buffer of uh, 9. Uh, now, 16 times 9 is 144, uh, and uh, 640 plus 144 is 784. So I think that's the reason why it's happening. Um, if you take 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 and you go down the line, you'll probably find that somewhere around... Uh, it's it's not preventing throughput as per se, it's just meaning that there are nine items for every merger, there are nine more uh, available as long as they are being filled up. And the game fills up the buffer before it empties the merger, it would seem. Uh, and then at the very end, uh, as long as there is input, it fills up the buffer. But And it only empties the, the buffer when it has reason to empty it because I noticed that the ones that were yellow lighted were like from number four or number five up the row um, and then if you take all those nines and add them together um, there is there is something going on with the uh, with the buffers uh, I, that's what I find most likely in this case um, it is I mean it, it works the throughput was definitely 780, or uh, Groundbuster or someone mentioned that there is a, a known bug with the belts currently. I couldn't find anything about that in the patch notes, but apparently they mentioned it in the dev stream today, and I was only half paying attention to that. So uh, that might also be it uh, in regards to the throughput on the belt, and of course the update they dropped today uh, broke. Um, efficiency checker. But by just observing the belt, it definitely s seemed as if there was 100 780 going through the belt because I couldn't see any kind of backs, uh, backups anywhere. Uh, the the pipes were. Uh, pipes were uh, they, they, there were no spaces between the pipes uh, when they were flowing down the belt which for instance I have some bauxite belts running up there uh, and they are being balanced to 600 per belt over there and you can distinctly see the spaces that pop up every now and then on the belt and this is 640 so whoa that's kind of trippy uh, you would, if, if it hadn't something to do with the buffers or something, uh, I suspect I would be seeing spaces there. But when, uh, I emptied it with a the sink, then it gradually started to empty the machines backwards into the line until it at last emptied, ironically enough, the ones in the middle last. No idea why the middle was the last one but that was the one it decided that it would empty last of course today's patch also broke smart rather substantially because uh, I was trying to use it earlier and uh, when I 
clicked to hold to drag the uh, outer line of splitters. Uh, even though the number up in the corner there uh, showed 10, I only saw one splitter. Then I held down control and dragged the mouse wheel and then it suddenly uh, popped up to 255 and I had a row of splitters going far into the mountainside there. And then it crashed again. So uh, if you want to use smart, probably uh, wait until they have dropped another update. I don't know why Fixmus uh, broke smart, but apparently it did. And I don't know why it broke efficiency checker as well because efficiency checker broke so hard that the game wouldn't even start with it enabled and it worked wonderfully yesterday my brain is slowly reaching uh, a state of uh Forked. I use smart button and I'm doing things like this because I mean you build things layered so you have one or two or three machines on each layer and then you go up a layer and then you go up a layer um, so smart wouldn't really help you that much uh, but when you're doing this uh, you know you can just place down the first three or the first two splitters, then you place down the top one, you pull out ten of them, and then you space them out four meters. It kind of saves a lot of time when you're building things like this. You can also pull out the machines in, vroom, in one row. The vertical manifold definitely has its uh, appeal. Uh, but it also takes more time than the horizontal one. Especially if you have smart. Then the horizontal one is a massive time, time saver compared to, uh, well, just about anything really. That's modding. But efficiency checker, I, I like to have efficient... Eff yes. Efficient. Oh, I, I can't speak. Efficiency. Efficiency checker. Just to put it on a belt to see whether or not the belt throughput is what I think it is. Especially when you're dealing with 600 or more items on a belt. But I always remove them when I'm done. It's, it's just a temporary thing that I have enabled. Just to see, is the throughput on this belt what I expect it to be? And if not, why? Uh, that one goes away. The tool is absolutely great. I haven't had time to set it up uh, properly today. Uh, but the thing that I'm, or the things that I'm making here now is just the basic materials anyways, like iron plates, iron rods. Uh, since you so happily, uh, or handily, and happily, uh, decided to pop into the stream. Is there any reason why I should produce more than 30 iron rods? I can't find any recipe where I would need iron rods, uh, where there isn't a better alternate recipe available. So the only thing I can think of that I need iron rods for is uh, basic construction. But I peered through the list very quickly. Yeah, okay, so I... Th Probably did right then. Is that a very large factory slurp? I assume you don't have a per... Yeah, that is a large factory. 12 megabytes. I mean, this one is... I can't really see it here, but I think this one is like 4 or 5 megabytes. 
Um, and I also assume that you do not have a potato for a computer, so... One thing that I have noticed is, like this area here, when I have all of these machines, things like that can happen occasionally. Uh, especially if I'm coming from... I don't know if we have chunks in Satisfactory? But like the vehicle bug that we used to have, vehicles that were working perfectly as long as you weren't looking at them. But the moment you looked at them, they would be falling out of the world and all kinds of things like that. Um, so, say all of the smelters up in the hexagon there. Um, I think the game engine just has a note that 4 times 600 iron ingots and 2 times 600 copper ingots is being processed up there. And when I then move into that chunk, it kickstarts everything inside of the, uh, of the, uh, what's going on in it. But yeah, the vertical one is also what I have. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, there might be something in the rendering, uh, like in regards to, um, some kind of, uh, CPU and GPU saving department? I have no idea. Like, I have no idea what's going on behind me right now. Uh, is anything behind me just uh, calculated uh, based on the information the game has? Or does it actually render and animate things that are going on behind me? Like that? If I now go that way, if anything was happening over there, would that be unloaded? Probably not, since I can turn very quickly. Well, the only explanation I would have for why it would affect the machine's state is that as long as you are outside of the chunk... The game just puts all of the machines into idle state while they are actually not idle. And then when you enter the chunk, uh, they just default to idle state. I mean, I am speculating, obviously, but it's as good a speculation as any I can come up with, to be honest. Yeah. I, that, that I think they have confirmed on the uh, dev streams, haven't they? Or somewhere. No. That is also one thing that I would have liked to have in this specific factory. I would have liked to have the lifts actually going down through like that instead of up. Here I see it in from of me, front of me, so not a ten tentacle taunts prob tentacle twice words if any uh more seriously though yeah i have no idea i seem to recall that i have experienced that i have i have experienced that now that you mention it in my refinery, in my old save, where I had some ridiculous amount of refineries and fuel generators, I would have that problem. It didn't seem to affect the production, but I had machines that showed as being idle even though they weren't. But there were a lot of refineries there. I had that this was before the blenders so I had how much is that I don't even remember the numbers 40 80 160 190 refineries 190 something refineries doing plubber and then I had additional refineries doing turbo fuel and then I had god knows how many 170 or something 
generators all in in one area. Yeah, 40 was one block and I had four blocks of them plus the fifth block behind that was responsible for making the heavy uh, oil residue. Because heavy oil residue, plastic recycled, rubber recycled, um, fuel, and unpackaged fuel. Oh, I had another row. Packaged water as well. So, 250-something refineries. The blenders really changed that, didn't it? I mean, I have enough refineries out there now as well, but it's nowhere near with the blenders. Don't need packaged water, don't need to dilute the fuel in the refineries, and so forth and so forth. Although the packagers did help a little bit with that, of course. But I don't really bother setting up uh, Plubber before I have blenders now. I think the blenders is a little, little bit less efficient, if I remember the maths correctly. Seems related to hover pack. Hmm. That would kind of make sense. And then this side only needs 30 iron ingots, so I can use a Mark 1 belt here. That is weird. <laughs> mm, tentacle related to hover pack. Oh, that spot. Uh, it did happen in my refinery area back then, and we had no hover packs back then. This one is only 614 production, though. Does that matter in regards to your test? Yeah, that that, that is a very good question. can see the issue. This thing is not emptying out, but now it's of course using all of the uh, the buffers here. Uh, is there some easy, quick way to not having to do this? Ugh. We do in the name of science, right? You can see this one, 200, not emptying and not not one bit going out of this thing. Did I empty that one? Yes, I did. And it gets less and less for each machine, the closer I get to the sink. But 
this is where efficiency checker would have come in handy. Take two stacks of those, actually. Okay, let's let... That should now empty out entirely. Uh, but this is where it would be handy with efficiency checker, because then I could just... Um, put that on the belt and see what is actually going through when everything is empty and the sink is eating everything. And it should say 640. One thing that I should check though, just connect these together. Uh, I did these the wrong way, didn't I? I did. Must be symmetrical with the rest of the factory, otherwise my brain will not tolerate it. Uh, I see. This is still definitely 780 per minute. And I emptied all the buffers. It's definitely getting 780 per minute. Uh, 32. Sixteen on each side. Well, now I managed to get some other crap in here as well, but there is 16 on each side. And 32, according to uh, the calculator, should create 640 per minute. Which 20 times 32 is 640. Even my head is able to calculate that. Which, I should add, is a rare occurrence that my head is able to calculate anything at all quickly welcome back class it is it's really weird If it would be of any help, if this is something you'd like to investigate, I would happily sell, send you the save after I'm done streaming, if you'd like to uh, have a look at it. Because I... I... When I had it running earlier, the container event... Yeah, now it should start emptying. Apparently there was some... No? Yeah, there was something left in the buffer. This looks more like it could be 640. Because now there's a gap every now and then. And now it's starting to empty out here. But there's definitely something going on with buffering here. Yeah, I, I'm... You're probably right. I probably missed a machine. It's weird, though. That is very true, and it is getting enough uh, steel ingots, so even though I emptied the buffer, uh, the machines were, were continuing to produce as well. And the steel pipes are a fairly quick production thing, since they make 20 a minute. 
when I mean, you've got 32 of them on the belt as well. Or on the manifold, I probably should add. Yeah, that's what I shouldn't be doing. I, I, I really don't get it. Okay, now I need to go down. Well, actually, I need to hook up power as well. Copper two, copper one. I do agree. Uh, if I had a balanced uh, uh, load merger, uh, that would probably fix the issue. However, me lazy, and it hadn't it, like it hasn't produced any problem for me, so. Thank you for popping in, and thank you for uh, checking up on me on that one. Very appreciated. And see you soon. I'll probably raid you again in a near future. Well, that's always good. You go there and have a cargo wagon. Um, it is in an awkward position, though. You know what? I think I'll put this somewhere else, because this is going to block the, um, entrances for the trains. If I put it behind here... I have no trains coming into either of these platforms. Two B. This one of one should be two A. Do I have? Hold on a moment now. To be or not to be? That is indeed the question. Ah, this one is standing here because it's not going anywhere. That is not ideal. NFX L Iron Okay. This one should be two B. And the other one here should be 1B. Iron. Did I send off the other ones to A or B up there? B. So this one should go to A. That isn't abusing at all. the changes. Did I save the changes on the other one? Uh, no. I 
I did. Brain is getting more and more tired here. Simple things, but I want to finish this. Wait a moment, turn off self-driving and brake. Here bees. I'm actually slightly surprised that the uh, slow down, slow downs uh, aren't happening more frequently. Because I'm starting to have a fair amount of trains on this uh, logistics network. go I actually wouldn't mind spending my life on a train trains are rather comfortable that signal should be removed Stay 90 kilometers per hour, which is decent. Why is it slowing down here? Yeah, because I need to remove two of those signals, at least one of them. four trains going into that um, RNA platform up at the hex and I'm not sure if that's going to uh, cause problems or not um, it remains to be seen what 
a good idea. Thanks for those first, but I'm going to do it like that. And maybe set that to unload would be a good idea. Now, these belts need to go up. One there, and one there. Is there any way I can signify that so I can remember where they are? I suppose I could do oh, that one with some beans. That. And that. Now if this one goes up there, that's on the middle of the seam, that one is not on the middle of the seam. Um, one, two. I don't know if this is the correct location for it. It might have to be. Apparently not. That's one. This one comes up. Not on the middle of the seam, but... Was that the middle of the seam? I don't think it was. Okay, so two out. Is that sufficient, I wonder? Looks like it should be there, but I'm not sure. I don't know. So it okay, it's actually in the middle of the course there. There. And no, that's not where I want it. There. Uh one, two, four, five, six. That would be seven, so I'll down there. Should connect up.
for if I need that, but I suspect I might. Don't need that particularly that, but I do need another uh, beam here somewhere, so put one there. Decorations. I added those on this one either. Two seconds. Okay, so I have iron there. I have iron here. Technically, I should up, or all I should up. So, this should work. That should work. Well, at least this latter one should work when I connect up the container. It looks like it might have some problems with um, the fact that there are four trains coming into that platform. I need to monitor that. Stream preview, I can see the um, the corner of my eye. I can see the uh, the leg that's drifting, and my hand holding wireless power transmitter, the hover pack. It's kind of weird because in the corner of my eye, on that monitor there, it looks like a face. Not sure if that is a good sign or a bad sign. That my brain is finally deciding to melting down once and for all. But whatever it is, it's fine. here. I'm not tired yet. Uh, it's just the... Um combination of having to uh, use brain power on uh, thinking about 
the mathematics in the game. Not that this is much mathematics, but also partially the uh, repetitiveness of uh, what I'm doing, and then also considering in all of the things like what the train is doing uh, with two trains over at that other uh, train station. And then having to uh, chat with you guys. I mean, a, a quiet streamer, except when he's very focused. With entertainment. Also, the, the repetitiveness of doing this is kind of... I always say monotonous. I think that is a good word. I can understand that. That very well, actually. Still don't want blueprints in Satisfactory, but I would definitely want a copy-paste function so that I could just, for instance, copy each of these assembly lines of ten assemblers with power lifts and. Uh, Yeah, uh, no, and um, mergers, splitters, stuff like that. It would definitely uh, make this kind of construction easier. But I am really clueless to how they would implement it without the game engine. Or rather, without players not breaking it by putting things inside of mountains. Stuff like that, and then complaining bitterly to Coffee Stain about hey, reaching object limit because I've placed 2,450 machines inside of a mountain. I can't get rid of them. That's the advantage of Factorio over Satisfactory when it comes to things like that. Since the world is flat, isometric, you don't have to uh, worry about things like that. Ooh, okay. You don't have to worry about things like that. The blueprints will work. This, however, uh, would be easier to have a, a more proper, maybe rebindable key for copy paste. I'm not sure I'm following there, uh, following you there, it's Stone Boys. I missed one. Yeah, that's the thing. I don't know if the blueprint uh, or if blueprints is feasible in Satisfactory due to the verticality. I mean, I would love to be able to blueprint something like the train spiral since it is 
very repetitive. I would also love to be able to blueprint the uh, uh, the um, train supports, but if I even copied, like if I copied that train support and then I placed it underneath there, the game engine, if Coffeestain were to do that in game, as in not a mod, but actually in the game, they would have to have some kind of calculation uh, that triggered the reduction of the beam so that it didn't place uh, six, seven, eight beams underneath the world because most people will not be able to go into uh, or most people would be very annoyed if they had to go to satisfactorycalculator.com to remove items that they would otherwise, otherwise not be able to remove without going underneath the world and keeping an eye out for whatever is going on underneath it. Uh, and if I copied the entirety of that thing and I placed it there, so half of it or maybe two-thirds of it was inside of that uh, mezza or whatever. Um, it would be problematic, but if I could copy a segment of it, um, it would be not not it would not be as problematic. But if I still, if Coffeestain is to include some kind of copy paste mode or blueprint mode, they still have to have some kind of sanity check. Or is the player placing this item in such a way that some of the objects are placed out of world space? Uh, and that I think is uh, a potentially rather large uh, challenge for them to uh, to deal with in this regard but i very much agree with uh, what you write there mr slurp that if they are going to implement something like uh, copy paste or blueprints it will have to be scaled down to to a certain level that is feasible um like we have the limit of 50 uh items at a time that we can dismantle and it would have to be something like that. Otherwise, it's, uh, it's yeah, recipe for disaster, say. Well, it's still, a, it's still problematic. Uh, gameplay problem, yes, I agree. Uh, it's still problematic because maximum height, maximum XY limit. I agree with that, all that, but still, it has to have some kind of sanity check so that you don't push something out of bounds, so that you cannot deconstruct it anymore. Since there is an object limit, I mean, most people will not reach an object lim the object limit of the game. We do have Andrew, who is uh, capable of doing that on two saves now, or is it three? But... Having objects, even if they are outside of the world space, would mean um, lag. If you get enough of them outside of the world space. But exactly what you're saying there, uh, Glass Deviant, is kind of what I'm envisioning. If we get some kind of copy paste, it would have to be something limited so that I could build like four of these arms uh, with the uh, foundations in the middle, which would be around 30, 40 objects. Kind of nice to see all the trains going back and forth on the uh, train line now. Starting to look like something in line of what I envisioned. And this is just the beginning of how many trains I plan on having in this space. So my iron plates are being produced and we need to go for the... Uh, as well. The main issue that I see in regards to uh, to those uh, detection algorithms is engine. Chips get zero a tentacle. Okay. That's good. And by what I, by that is the engine thing. What I mean by that is. 
Unreal Engine versus whatever engine Empyreon is working. Can I just place that on the right location? Because the collision detection would have to happen in the Unreal Engine and the terrain is a player collidable thing? But it is not an object collidable thing. And that is part of the problem here. But that actually depends. Unity, I'm not a huge fan of Unity myself. But I wouldn't say that it's an infer inferior engine to um, Satisfactory. I would rather say that it has its uses. But let me demonstrate what I mean. Build a conveyor pole there and a conveyor pole there. And I'm sure you see the problem. There is no collision detec detection. If I could not target that belt with my deconstruction tool now, the only way that I could remove that belt is through using the satisfactory calculator or finding a hole in the world. Or if I was lucky, find somewhere here where I was able to look through the rocks because there are some areas where you can, like here, but even when I'm looking through, I still can't target the belt with my deconstruction knife or tool. Now imagine if that was a blueprint of uh, 40 constructors from up there that I managed to place inside there. Of course, there is still a lot of development left on Satisfactory. Well, I don't know. There are, I mean, the machines detect one another. You have hard, this is soft clipping. Then you have hard clipping. I am not allowed to build the machine there because it's hard clipping. But the machine is a physical object that I have put into the world. Um, to have proper collision, I, I mean, yes, tentacle dot. Tentacle real. Tentacle real. The thing with the collision in this regard is that all of the um, vertices, I think, that is comprising all of the t visible terrain that we see would have to be uh, marked as a collision object or anything. Now, as shown in, in uh, JD's save earlier, uh, it, it can do weird things. And yes, the problematic issue with that would, of course, be that it would be a massive amount of work. But now this one is too steep, but there are so many things like rail railways is a good example of one item. I get this to go anywhere? Yeah, I can get it to go there. Again, I can get that through there. And the train will happily drive through the rock. I can't target the rail when it's inside, but if I actually had electricity on this, the train would just go right through it as if it didn't exist. So if they are to implement something like that, they have to do a great deal of work on, on uh, the world space. Uh, to have it uh, functional. Let's see. I now have iron plates. I have wire. I have concrete, which I have to bring in by train. I have steel pipes. So what is left is stitched iron plate so that I get the reinforced iron plates. I need to make a couple of those. Then I have to make modular frames and I will be using the steeled frame recipe for that. I have to make encased industrial pipe or beams, which I will then be using the encased industrial pipe recipe for. 
And then finally, I can set up the manufacturers that will be producing the heavy modular frames, where I'll be using the heavy encased frame recipe. I mean, I have more alternate recipes in this setup than I have actual base game recipes. Things that indeed make you go, hmm. Uh, I, th I think there's a very good reason for why Coffee Stain has said that we are not going to make blueprints, and I suspect that this is why. I hope I'm wrong in regards to copy-paste, because it would also affect the ability we have to get copy-paste into the game. Uh, but again, modding community, there is a mod. I don't know if it's currently working, but there is a mod that gives you blueprint functionality. But there's always that option. Uh, if Poppy Stain does not code it into the game themselves. Options are good, that's why I like mods. However, I am quite spent, so uh, we are going to wrap it up here. Um, thank you all so much for uh, the follows, for the subscribes. Uh, been a very uh, nice stream, both with uh, lots and lots of follows and. Uh, Nice raid from Bold, uh, Oribia, Groundbuster. Also had the raid from Don't Poke Josh. Oribia, Groundbuster, Bold Viking, and Fallen Angel are all new subscribers. So thank you, guys. I know you're. I, I don't think any of you are still here. Most of you have probably gone to bed by now. Groundbuster probably is awake, but he might be busy with other things. Uh, I will be back tomorrow night. I am fairly certain of that. Um, can check out my Discord server if you're interested uh, in the uh, FAQ and rules channel. There is a reaction role if you want to have notifications on the Discord server for when I'm streaming. Um, but yeah, I think that is it. So uh, thank you all so very much for uh, spending the time together with me here tonight and, uh, i will see you again very soon uh, i hope that you will uh, join me over at uh, wally's stream he is also playing satisfactory which is good even for a heretic and i will see you again very soon everyone thank you again have a good day